What's up, y'all? Got a banger from Modern Dating here. Let's get straight into it. There's been so many times where women say to me, it's like, oh, I told him I want a divorce, but hoping he'd come back for me, but he let me pack my bags. So sometimes- I won't help you pack, honey. I'm saying file for divorce or take it that far as a way of testing their partner. And if they're with quite a healthy partner, they'll think you mean it. So many women try to- I like when she said this. Sometimes they file for divorce or take it that far as a way of testing their partner. They do because it's hypergamy, right? They're shooting up. They want you to come down and be like, baby, no, I want you to stay with me. Please don't leave. You're the best thing. Now, nah, here's what you do. Your girl says she wants a break. Cool. Uh, let's do it. You got your own place. I hope you pack your bags. Let's break up. Let's do it. I'm down. And then don't let it phase you one bit. Go, if you feel like crying, cry, cry somewhere else. But don't be ever beg a woman to be back with you. No, baby, no, don't leave. Ah, you want a break? Cool, let's go. Let's break it off. I was thinking the same thing, actually. And she'll be like, ah. that's what you got to do, though. It's sad, but it's true. And if they're with quite a healthy partner, they'll think you mean it. The easiest way to lose a confident man who knows himself is to use this type of strategy. Mm -hmm. It only works with guys who aren't sure about themselves or are dependent on their spouse. Facts. Don't try it with a mature and secure guy because you are going to lose him. Test their men constantly. It's an evolutionary thing because here's the reality. Childbirth is potentially fatal. So to put that risk onto a relationship, he better be able to endure all types of storms. Yeah. So we have to test them. So we have <laughs> to, unfortunately, test them. This is coming from a single woman. You don't have to test a man. We have modern medicine is so advanced now that the likeliness that you'll die during childbirth is pretty low. I don't know the percentage, but I know it's not 90 percent. Back in the day, it probably was a lot higher. You don't have to test men. You test men because you you guys are childish. Women grow up. They never or women grow old. They never go up. You test us because you feel like you have to. But women do this innately. They test you. And when they test you, you got to know where to stand your ground. If she's like, well, I want to break. Cool. Let's break it off. It's like I told you guys a couple episodes ago, this girl, she was going through my phone. We were just kind of like buck fuddies at the time. She was going through my phone. So I was talking to another girl. She goes, I can't do this. You're talking to other girls. I was like, cool, I'll walk you out. Walked her out. She was sitting on the porch like, are you really going to do this? I was like, yeah, I'm doing this. Goodbye. Damn! I'm not going to sit here and beg you. We're not even together. But you got to do that because they want you to beg. They want you to play the inferior role and be like, no, baby, no, don't simp. Never simp. So we have to test, are they going to be faithful, financially stable, have their own boundaries? Now, the problem is, unfortunately for men, when we push you and you succumb to us, you automatically lose us. Mm -hmm. What we're saying when we're pushing you is really make sure you don't give in to this, because if you do, then I know you're not strong enough. Oh my God, give me an example. It might be something like I push a man to say, I'm going to come home when I want. I'm going to come on girls trips. I'm going to do whatever I want. Nah. And OK, well, if you do that, you're going to be alone. That's what I say. You're going to be single. Don't come home. I'll have your stuff packed on the porch. Whereas some guys would be like, no, it's okay, baby. Yeah, you can go on girls trips. Uh, absolutely not. As long as you were living under my home, you were coming home when I say you aren't going on girls trips. You were letting me know your every move. You're not just doing your own thing. And then when you actually give in and say, okay, essentially she feels like she's not being protected. Mm -hmm. So she feels like nobody's governing her. You don't have a spine. You're not responsible. Or she might say, I'm talking to my ex-boyfriend. And you oh, say, that's I a don't... you're talking to, okay, go back to him. Get out of my house. And feel comfortable with that. She went, no, you have to, I have to, I have to. Fine, he accepts it. Essentially, she's saying that you don't wow. mind if I have an affair. Bye. Essentially, what we're begging for sometimes is the boundary. We're not looking for you to bow down. Wow. So I, hard for men to man, figure that out. Though, right, really. right. I feel so bad so for men. Funny. It's like uh, reverse psychology all the time, unfortunately. Well, you just have to remember when you're talking to these women, they're, ta they're acting like children. And that's and like, I know it sounds bad, but I've even told my own mother this. I'm like, you guys act like a child sometimes. You try to test us and do stupid things. I'm like, men, we're just so logically wired that we just don't even think about those little mind games. We don't even think about it. that stuff never even crosses my mind. But I started realizing it at a very young age. I was raised by a single mother. I was around my mom a lot. I started to realize this stuff when I was like 13 and 14. I was like, oh, this is how women act. And then I went to school. Girls acted the same way. And I was like, it's the same at home and at, at school. I was like, this is just how women are. So you got to play into the game. If she's going to try to push you, just push back. It's, it's always that simple. I want to do this. No. <laughs> I want to go out on girls trips. No. Or be like, oh, you want to girls go on girls trips? Cool. All right. Well, you can't live with me. Like you always have to set a boundary because they'll respect you more if you push back as opposed to just succumb to whatever they want. I will let 10,000 women go if they try that. A healthy woman shouldn't be asking for divorce unless she means it. It's a serious matter. A good man, at least in my culture, will tell her to take space, maybe spend time at her parents' home, 
to think whether that is what she truly no nah, i'll be like all right let's go let's go get the papers they also risk getting the boundary enforced guys with the backbone and options won't try to control you we'll just go our own way exactly we'll just dip we will just leave if you're going to give an ultimatum be prepared for the worst case scenario facts freaking facts allow it go play those games with yourself single that's what i'm saying go go do your own thing that's what you want Fortunately for men, when we push you and you succumb to us, you automatically lose us. No lie detected. She said it well, because once they give you an ultimatum and you give in, it's done. Mm -hmm. It's over because the relationship will be based on this type of behaviors until she loses respect and eventually leave for a stronger exactly. partner. Someone with a backbone. Sometimes we think giving in is the best option as it will end the issue, but it has the opposite effect. Because from the moment you allow it once, you need to be ready for many more in the future. She said those tests Stand your ground, dude. Absolutely. Stand your absolute ground. Do not succumb to these stupid demands. You don't have to. Tim on her partner of three years. She wanted him to marry her, but he didn't seem interested. So she applied some pressure on him, but it backfired. <laughs> now she regrets her decision. Let's have a look at it. So after I gave him the ultimatum, he just looked at me in my face and was like, if you feel like you need to move, move. And so we went through three months of like chicken where I had no friends in Vegas, no family in Vegas. I just really blurted that out. I did not mean it. I had no intention. I had no job. I had nothing. I had no plans on moving to Vegas. I thought I was going to force this man to propose to me. But who told you it's a good idea to put a mature man against the wall? Why would you want to go this far to get him to marry you? Even if you went on with it, would it be worth it? This is the Stupid. worst strategy to get a man to marry you. It will never work. Yeah, with pressure does one of two things. It either busts pipes or makes diamonds. And when you're talking about pressuring someone to propose to you, most of the time it's busting pipes. Man who knows himself. For three months, he was like, do what you got to do. You want to move, move. So on the last day I was putting my stuff in the car, he came over and helped me put my stuff in the car. And we put stuff in the trunk and I just start crying. I'm like, you really going to let me leave? He looked at me and he said, have a safe trip. Because a secure man's not going to play these the stupid kitty games. You ladies, you want to play stupid games, you win stupid prizes. Damn! The biggest problem with ultimatums is that you give in to one, you'll just get more of them. This man was smart not to negotiate. Exactly. You can't negotiate with an ultimatum. You can't. An ultimatum reveals just how weak the position of the person issuing the ultimatum is. I love getting ultimatums because the opposition has just painted itself into a corner and that there is no, uh, no escape from. I mean, exactly never never succumb to an ultimatum when my husband and i were dating i told him one time he had to get up he sat up and said the only things i have to do is breathe and die then went back to sleep yeah you can't make a strong man do anything facts you can't you really can't because we're just going to do our own thing like miss me miss me with all that stuff bro miss me with all that stuff exactly what i told my wife early early on when we get into the argument she threatened to leave i said we both know where the door is if you want to just leave that's what i'm saying if you want to leave just leave and it happens all the time Women bring this stuff up all the time, dude, but you just got to stand your ground. As long as you stand your ground, nothing's going to happen. But if you don't stand your ground, then a woman's just going to keep pushing and eventually take advantage of you and go on to the next guy. Marriage, even if he previously showed disinterest. It said, it said uh, you, you guys will see. There wasn't a need for an ultimatum. The man in the video changed his mind sure this is and was ready to marry, but she didn't have to put him against the wall for it. Deliberately, he was willing to marry her on the next day. Let's have a look at what happened. You can read me. Like I was saying, I think we should just stay friends, you know what I'm saying? Because I'm not ready for a relationship. Like, you know, <laughs> I'm just not that. ready for all that right now. You know what I'm saying? Like, real talk. Mm. You say you cooked there? You, you did there? Come on, bro. <laughs> Cornbread too? This ain't Jip, this from scratch? <laughs> Lord, shit. Sure. And you cook this like this all year round. It stays the same taste like this all year round. <laughs> well, I don't know, baby, look. You mind if I take my Amex off? Look, check this out. I'm gonna take my Amex off for a couple of years because I've been thinking since I've been sitting here eating on this. That you might be right, we might do need to get in a relationship because, um, <laughs> real talk, I've been hungry lately and these women I've been dealing with, they, you know, um, 
This the taste I've been looking for. So, <laughs> but the thing is, I know it's a meme, but it's so real. Like, ladies, if you go out there and you start cooking for a man, that's the way to his heart. That's the way to his heart. Like I said, men need three things. Peace and quiet, a full stomach, and a and an empty sack, dude. Like, empty nuts and a full belly will make a man start thinking, man, maybe she actually is marriage material. So it's really that simple. Ladies, you just got to listen. He was ready to get married tomorrow. That woman is powerful. Lastly, we have a woman that was shocked after understanding that not all men are simps. Let's have a look at her video. Duh. I don't want to go to your house. He's like, oh, okay, then I'm, I'm going to drop you back home. And I'm like, what? <laughs> I, can, I cannot believe at this point in my life, I'm like, okay. So then like I had something, okay, at 10 p.m. So then I told him like, oh, can you at least drop me where I'm going? Like, so then I will stay there. No. He's like, I'm not going to drive all the way there. You know what I told him via text? I told him like, look, the last thing you will hear from me is that you deserve the, the people that you're with. Like you deserve the woman that you're with because we're talking about a man that he, he doesn't know what it's like to do effort for a woman. He's like, let's go buy a pack of donuts and we will go to my house. Why? For what? Because you, that, that's, that's, that's your price is pack of donuts back to the crib. Shots fired! I mean, honey, who are you? Do you look? Are, are you Ruth's Chris? Are you T-Bone Steaks? Are you Porterhouse? Are you Ribeye Money? No, baby girl. No. What are you? Stupid. You are straight up donuts back to the crib, smashing pass. <laughs> hey, go to your house. Even if it's not the first time I see you, why would I do that? Because Chad and Tyrone didn't have to do that. They probably like, dude, like I always say, man, if she's making you wait, another dude hit it on the first date. Guys, can you imagine the shock? So he dropped me back home. Okay. And I'm like, okay, thank you for the tour. You gave me a tour in the city. Loved it. He is not your taxi. Be glad he said, yeah, he, be would glad drop he, said he would drop you off by your house. He could have said bye and told you to walk five minutes. That's what I'm saying. I, if she would have been like, can you drop me off halfway across? I'm like, no, I'm dropping you off at your crib. He is absolutely right. Why would he put effort in if he's not getting anything back? That's what I'm saying. Like, ladies, if we want to take you to Ruth Chris, are you just going to let us go back to the crib and smash? I'm going I'm to go ahead and doubt it. Even the birds of paradise dance and perform for the female before they get the action they want. That, I mean, that's true. That's true. But not these days. He, yeah, also, he is not your Uber. Why ask him to take you to other... That's what I'm saying. Why am I taking you to another place? I'm not your Uber, baby girl. Strange that you still don't differentiate between F-boys and decent guys and creating drama after wasting his time. Poor guy got a wrong girl who's searching for content. I mean, got a point, man. The misandrists, the misandrists are crazy right now. They're everywhere, too. And didn't know. She thought he was another simp she was used to, but the confusion was clarified. This is what happens when simps spoil modern women to the point they start thinking they are entitled to get things done for them for nothing. She expected a grown man to drop her at another place as if he was her driver, but he was smart and confident enough to let her know it won't happen, and this is why she decided to make- Bro, and this is why I'm like, dude, we gotta end the simp epidemic, dude. We have to end it. It's bad right now. So many guys going out there doing the absolute most and not even for, not even for one grab of a cheek. Going out there doing the absolute most, paying for these girls, sending them money, nail appointment, hair appointment, food. Like, come on, dude. Like, if you can't take her out on one date and go back to the crib, she belongs to the street. On to the next. Like, for me, when I was in the dating game, I was like, if there's not like that immediate initial physical attraction to each other, and I don't feel like I want to hook up with you from the jump, then I'm on to the next. I'm not about to sit here and waste a bunch of time trying to convince you that you should hook up with me. No, it's either we have that attraction or we don't. I think it's one of those things where you can't build on that. You can't be like, all right, well, you're not attracted to me now, but maybe after three months, you'll be attracted to me. No, stupid. It doesn't work like that, dude. It's like that immediate physical attraction. You should know in the first five to 10 minutes, whether you would hook up with this chick, because the thing is a girl's going to think the same exact thing. She's not going to sit there and need three months to think about whether she wants to sleep with you or not. She'll know in five minutes. Most girls would buck a celebrity and they've never met him, right? You put Channing Tatum in front of a girl. She's like, yeah, I'd buck him. She doesn't even need to think about it. She just knows what he looks like. Same thing with you guys, man. 
Like a girl can look at you and in the first, I'd even say 30 seconds, she's going to know whether or not she was asleep with you or not. So don't wait. Don't wait for three months. Don't, don't believe this whole, I just want to get to know you. And I feel like we just really need to know each other before we sleep together. No, if she's making you wait, another guy hit it on the first date. Damn! Why would I sit here and wait for you and waste my time? No, I'll go out there and give a girl the time of day that actually is going to let me get in the cheeks. That's so dumb. Sit there and wait for a girl. Ugh. Well, and here's the thing. This is what I did in college. I always had a roster. I always had like five or six girls I was talking to at one time. Because the thing is, you never know which one of them is going to actually hit. Like, which one's going to be like, all right, you know, hit me up. Let's go, like, come over. Let's, let's hang out or whatever. So you got to keep shooting your shot. At least for me, I was always shooting my shot because I was like, I need, I, need to have, I need to have options. Because if one says no, another one might not. And, you know, I might get a yes. I'm, you know what I mean? You got to prioritize. But if you're just like putting all, like I see so many guys, guys hit me up on Twitter, guys hit me up on IG and they talk about they got their heart broken. It was the love of their life. And these guys are like 19 to 24. She was the love of my life, man. She was the apple of my eye. She was everything I ever wanted. And, you know, I just loved her so much. And, you know, she meant the world to me and I just did everything for her. I'm like, dude, why are you just talking to her? You need to be talking to multiple girls because this is what I say. This is what women want in a man. Six foot, six inches, six pack, six figures and other women want him. That's what they want. No girl wants to be the only girl that's going after this guy. They don't. They want to know that other women want you. Women are hypergamous in nature, therefore they shoot up, right? They want to know the guy they're going for is the best pick possible. So if you're out there and you're not winning and you don't have other options, a girl's going to be like, well, why doesn't he have options? He must be a loser, which that's not what you want. You don't want to be a loser, dude. I'm sorry. Maybe some guys are like, I'm cool with it. I don't think you should be. You need to be a king. Keen, impervious, noble, and groomed. You need to look good, smell good, take care of yourself. I'm just saying, like, you got to present, you got to present a package to a woman that's like, I mean, you guys know, not that package, but <laughs> you know what I'm saying. You got to, you got to, you got to come with a, a well-groomed package to present a woman where she's like, oh, wow, I like this guy. Because for me, like, dude, I don't think I have like a nine face card. I don't think I'm not a Maxim model. I'm not like ridiculously good looking, but I take care of myself. I go to the gym. I know how to speak. I'm funny. I'm personable. I can make people feel comfortable around me. I attract good energy. Other women see that and they're like, I want to be around this guy. In college, dude, I would hang out with girls and they're like, Levi, I just like your energy. That is the biggest compliment because that means she feels comfortable around you. She likes your vibe. That means that more than likely if she likes your vibe, you can see her thighs. You know what I'm saying? I just made that up. So it's probably trash. But you get what I'm saying, dude. If you can make her laugh and giggle, you can make her cheeks clap and jiggle. But you got to get to that point. And dude, I've seen dudes that are not even that good looking. They're like 5'8", five, 5'9". Five, I knew guys that were bald in college chubby not in good shape but they had some of the best personalities and dude they would legend of bagger vance they were bagging like crazy bagging like a bag boy at kroger's bagging like a bag boy at brookshire's looking like a brown bag special at sonic like these dudes were straight up bagging because they knew how to make girls comfortable they knew how to talk to girls they were confident cool calm collected they were funny they had a good personality and girls are like i'll go buck this guy even though maybe he's not up to my look standards but i'll buck a chubby dude that's got a good personality versus a chad that you know when he opens his mouth he sounds like an idiot one of my best friends growing up dude this guy was like six eight chiseled from stone greek god status but the thing is he didn't have the best game he couldn't really talk to girls he wasn't really funny wasn't super charming didn't have a lot of game. And so girls would see him and they'd be so attracted to him. But then as soon as they got to know him, they'd be like, eh, he's kind of like, he's kind of like shy. Like I want a guy that takes charge and he didn't. So he missed out on a lot of opportunities because the girls that he was going for, they didn't even want to hook up with him because he wasn't that confident. He was like, he like I had, had the full package, but internally he didn't feel like he was that guy. See, I felt like I was that guy and I was beat up from the feet up. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> I was a six at best, but I was like, I am, I am him. I am Himothy. I am him Duncan. You know what I'm saying? I'm Himothy Chalamet. You know, I'm, I'm that guy. And so it was good for me though. Cause growing up, he was always the better looking one, but I, so he would attract the girls, but I was always, I was always the guy that kept him around. Cause I could make him feel comfortable. I could crack jokes and I had a good personality. But then once we split off and went to college, I didn't have him anymore. So I was like, wow, it's just me. And then I found out, oh, wow. I'm actually, I, I kind of am a package. I'm a six foot tall dude. I'm like 170 to 180 pounds. I know how to dress. I know how to speak. I know how to make people feel comfortable. I'm funny. Like, and it, I just had lay of the land in college. It was pretty easy. Um, but I had done years of work prior to that to become the man I am. And dude, if you look back at like 
my freshman year of high school, bro, I was beat. I look like Earthworm Jim, straight up. I look like Earthworm Jim. I, like, I don't have a strong jawline. I have to have this beard. But the thing is, when I talk, people listen. And that's why the YouTube channel, I think, has been doing so well. Because when I speak, you guys resonate with it. And that is one thing that is really hard to work on. But you can. the good thing is, is you can always work on it. Working on your looks sometimes is very difficult, unless you want to go get a bunch of plastic surgery. But the thing is, every day you can work on your personality. Hope you guys took something from that. Hope you guys enjoyed today's episode. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. I will see you guys tomorrow, man. Peace.